One of the most common questions that we get asked is which binoculars are best for bird watching? To answer this, you need to think about where and how you'll be using your binoculars. Are they for a garden or woodland where birds might be quite close to you? Or a more open space like the heathland here, or perhaps a wetland or even the sea? And when will you use them? Some are better for low light conditions and some are better protected against the elements. Look at the two numbers on the binoculars. For example, 8 by 42. The first number is the magnification. The image you'll see through these binoculars is eight times closer than what you'd see with the naked eye. For bird watching, a magnification of eight or 10 is perfect. Eight is great for forests and gardens, whereas 10 is ideal for wide open spaces. That said, many bird watchers will use eight times magnification in open spaces. A lower magnification gives you a wider view of the landscape and allows you to find and track birds more easily. The second number is the diameter in millimetres of what's called the objective lens, the one at the front here. Binoculars have two objective lenses, one at the front of each barrel. The bigger the lens, the brighter the image will be and the better the binoculars will perform in low light. But bigger lenses mean heavier binoculars and I've worn quite a few over the years where after having walked a few miles, you definitely know that they're there around your neck. If you do a lot of walking, you might prefer these 25 mm compacts, which are much lighter and they'll fit right in your pocket. Smaller lenses don't always mean settling for a duller image. Many binoculars come with special lens coatings to enhance the brightness. Binoculars described as fully coated are good, but if they're described as fully multi-coated, like these ones, they're even better. You should also consider comfort. The binoculars need to be easy for you to use. Are they comfortable for you to hold? And is it easy for you to reach the focus wheel in the middle? If you wear glasses, do the binoculars have adjustable eye cups? Like these. Everyone's hands and eyes are different. I like to get down to a shop to really try binoculars out. Which brings us to our final point, budget. How much should you spend on binoculars? you can get a decent, long-lasting pair for around £60. Higher-priced binoculars will come with features that enhance your birdwatching experience. The most important thing is to focus on what's right for you. The RSPB have a full range of binoculars that are great for beginners, enthusiasts and seasoned pros. Try them for yourself at any of our nature reserves with shops or view the full range online at rspbshop.co.uk. Happy watching!